Hi everyone, this is Ferds. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, initial Cisco switch configuration, beginner's step-by-step -step tutorial. I have like four steps here. Yeah, so the first first step is connect a console or roll over cable from the PC, and usually it's the it's from the uh, COM port on the PC to the switch and use these terminal emulator settings. Uh, you can just, you know, uh, you can just open a putty, make, yeah, you can just open putty and just uh, mirror this, uh, these settings. And from there, uh, of course, you have to power on the switch as well. And while it's, uh, you know, uh, booting up, you can just press enter and you will get to the um, CLI. And you can then, you know, uh, you can actually just copy and paste these configurations, but uh, in this video, I'm just gonna kinda explain it a bit. Uh, but uh, these are the initial configurations that I have. And I'm gonna add this to the, to the description of this video as always. And uh, let me just, uh, yeah, this is the topology that I'm going to use uh, in this video. And just, just like, uh, I mean, it's a simple topology. Um, we don't really have to have a, a complicated topology for this uh, tutorial. So it's just, you know, a PC, which I'm not going to configure. And uh, I mean, PC connected to switch to the switch and the switch is connected to the, uh, to uh, R1. And I have this, I mean, I have, I am a console uh, I, or I am connected to this switch via console and also R1. So let me just, uh, like I said, I'm just gonna explain the configurations uh, as I, as I uh, copy and paste it. So of course you have to go into the global configuration mode and this is how you set the host name of the switch. So in this case, it's, it's SW1 and you see that, you know, it's, uh, it reflects, I mean, I mean, it's, uh, yeah, it reflects right away uh, once you enter it. And this here, this command is actually um, from what I observe is how, I mean, it's enabled by default. Uh, so you don't have to worry about it. It's just basically to you know to uh, to make the the password not readable. And this is how you uh, configure the username and the password. So in this case, it's Cisco. I mean, username is Cisco and secret is Cisco. And privilege fifteen is the highest privilege. So I'm just gonna. Uh, enter it. And in this case, I am configuring VLAN 1. I mean, configuring IP address on VLAN 1, and I'm just enabling it. Uh, and we see that it went, uh, it came up. And this is how you configure a uh, gateway or the gateway. Uh, this is, you have to configure this if you have to, of course, um, SSH into the switch. <clears throat> from, uh, I mean, in SSH into the switch remotely. So you have to have this configuration. And in this case, I am configuring this switch as, uh, I mean, I'm configuring a VTP as transparent uh, in this case. So uh, basically this switch will not, will not uh, participate in any uh, VTP um, you know, um, how can I see it? It will just, you know, it will just relay the uh, VTP updates, but it will not uh, uh, participate in the uh, VTP updates or, uh, I mean, it, it will not look at the, uh, the uh, VTP configurations, basically. It will just relay it to the other switches. And this is just how you, you have to create the uh, RSA, yeah, 
or generate and yeah yeah done enabled <clears throat> yeah i was i already tried this myself uh before making this video and you see that ssh version 2 is in, has been enabled uh, because i already did uh, this configurations but for the sake of completion i'm just gonna copy and paste uh, the rest of the ssh configurations and this is how you configure um the uh, VTY lines. So this switch only has five VTY lines. So like I said, I can just copy and paste. So uh, yeah, it's taking that comment. Yeah, done. And here, yeah, I mean, let me explain this a bit. So when I, when you configure this login local, uh, it means that the switch will check the, the local users database to authenticate users. So it will check the, I mean, in this case, we have to use this username and secret as, uh, I mean, Cisco as secret. And this here is just to basically, uh, the output is looking nice. It's not, it's not all over the place. This is what this uh, command means. And of course, this here is just you not know, to uh, uh, use the local database. Just copy and paste. Oops. And this is how you save the configurations. And to to verify that you know the the switch. Uh, took all the configurations that you uh, copy uh, and pasted in it. You have to, I mean, you can use this command here. And that's it. That's how you uh, configure the switch. Or that's how you can initially configure uh, the switch. And of course, we can always, you know, test this. Uh, but I'm not going to. Well, I can taste, I can test it, but uh, let me just check. I wasn't planning to testing it, but now that I think about it, I can do it. It's not really gonna take too long. Yeah, now I can ping it. I mean, this I can ping R1 from switch one. And I should be able to SSH into it. No user nor available for client. That's weird. Hold on. SSH. Ah, I know. Uh, you have to. There's a there's a command that you can use to SSH and from you know from any from any of the routers, but uh, I really don't have to do this to be honest. But uh, let me see. Cisco and then. To uh, IP. Let me see if it works. Yeah, <clears throat> now it works. Yeah. So it's been a while that I used this command. So you just have to. Uh, you can always use the uh, you know the help uh, section or feature of Cisco routers. So now I'm able to uh, SSH into the switch using the username and password the config that we configured on it. All right, and of course, these are the references that I used uh, to make this, I mean, for this uh, video. All right, um, that's all in this video. Uh, if you have any questions, you can uh, use the comment section below. 
And um, if you like this video, uh, please consider subscribing. And um, I'll see you on the next one.